Hello chess friends and welcome to you out of chess channel and welcome to a very special tournament that started recently on the TCEC official website. We have now a great tournament where only three top engines are performing. So we have now the stock 15 engine, the Lila C0 engine and the Dragon engine that are battling it out for the throne. So no other engines are participating in this super tournament. And so far, really while well, things happen, the Lila C0 is in the lead, which is a little bit of a surprise. And also uh, what we have seen so far in the tournament was now a new game in which stockfish lost uh his first game stockfish didn't lose any game so far i've checked out uh the ccr or chess Dumb website where stockfish has played many many games didn't lose any games and also in some other tcc competitions stockfish didn't lose any games so this is now the first game that will cover in which stockfish lost but we have to say it also uh, the pre-arranged opening was uh, bad the perch defense had to be played and the perch defense really sucks in my opinion so also the reverse game was won by stockfish so nothing dramatic and dramatically basically happened so stockfish won the game but also lost the game with the black pieces so as i said uh, that's why also i think you should try to avoid the first offense because it's simply too passive and especially in, in the setups that, that was that were also pre-arranged i think uh, white is always great attacking chances but still i wanted to cover this game because it had so beautiful tactical elements uh, with really some uh spread tactics all over the board you know when uh, suddenly the pieces uh, spread and then get connected and at one particular moment of, of the tactical sequence so it's very really beautiful to watch this top engine battling it out so let's see now uh, the tactical beauty played by lila c0 against stockfish 15 so here uh lila opened with the move e4 but as i said it's not uh, that this engine uh, choose to play this opening this was uh, simply the pre-arranged opening line so uh, d6 so we have d4 the first offense so far knight to f6 knight to c3 so we have now the move c6 f4 uh, which is now uh, a similar structure like in the austrian attack we want to uh, get an e5 pawn breakthrough and create some madness in the center of the board so now comes queen to a5 and that was now the pre-arranged uh, move by the organizer and okay what to do here you have to play i think here bishop to d3 perfectly fine uh, because now you're not vulnerable to this tactical shot knight to e4 and then you see you can you couldn't take because of the pin by the queen against the knight so as i said here there are many things that you can do in the continuation here e5 was played by uh, stockfish 15 you could also play d5 but it's i think uh, not so good because then you simply play bishop to d2 and create a discovered attack against the bishop now for instance uh, d takes e4 could be an opportunity but uh, for knight to e4 maybe black could continue uh, the pressure against the knight on uh, e4 but it doesn't matter actually uh, you should just simply play normal fast development uh, that's also uh, my suggestion to you whenever you feel a little bit pressured always slow down the pace of the game a little bit you see okay black has some attacks against the pawn on d4 but black has brought only two pieces out meanwhile you see even if black takes here the pawn on d4 we can play queenside casting and look at this we have already one two three four pieces out the rook five pieces out the queen has to lose an extra tempo okay black has his fun with this extra pawn but uh, i think uh, black is getting destroyed tactically for sure in this game so that's why as i said after bishop to d3 this line with the move d5 doesn't make any sense uh, so here we have e5 by stockfish we have knight to f3 we have a knight from b to d7 and now bishop to e3 supporting of course for this two pawn so we have uh, bishop to e7 h3 preventing knight to g4 we have uh, d takes uh, e takes d4 bishop to d4 and now knight to c5 continue the pressure against the e4 pawn but also attacking um, the bishop on d3 and of course there is again this tactic knight to e4 knight to e4 then again the knight cannot take so that's why uh, lila c0 escaped with the king and uh, leaves now the bishop unprotected on d3 and that's exactly what happens stalker 15 takes uh, we have now a position where uh, white lo uh, white lost the bishop pair in an early stage of the game but we have to say now with the move queen to d3 uh, lila c0 has finished the development uh, we have this three stages of the development i've talked about this uh, three stages millions of times on my youtube chess channel so uh, the three stages are of course that you have to play with minor pieces you have to secure the king by casting and the third stage would be uh, then uh, to connect your rooks and that's exactly what lila c0 did by taking the bishop on d3 
fully developed. All of the pieces are out. We have a root connection. We have a pawn central control. We have some dynamic possibilities in the center by pushing the pawn on e5. So although uh, white lost uh, the bishop pair, which is of course a great strategical element, but uh, white has also great attacking chances with this e5 pawn breakthrough. So you should not worry, I think, about the bishop pair anymore in this game. So here, king side counting rook from a to d1, getting uh, the rooks, of course, uh, in the center of the board. Now, what we want, we want to do also is maybe to bring this other rook into the game. That's exactly how you should play with the rooks. You're waiting. Uh, you're also calculating what files could be opened i think uh, we can agree that the d file could be opened in the near future and also the e file could be also open so that's why rook from a to d1 is correct and then followed with maybe rook from f to e1 so here uh, in the continuation we have b5 so uh talker 15 is trying to launch at least some kind of attack getting use of the bishop pair because when you have the bishop pair on the board then you hope of course for an open game for a dynamic game for a wild game uh, now uh, with the move b5 uh, stockfish 15 is of course announced in such a game so we have now e5 and lila c0 uses this moment immediately creates a breakthrough if you step back uh, with the move knight to e8 this is not good because you get simply knight to e for the follow-up and um, this is always sort of a motif that you should remember uh, e5 and then uh, to follow up with the knight you uh, have liberated now a square and the knight is included into the attack so now as we said even if you try knight to e8 we have knight to e4 but then uh, even if you take you don't have to even react you can even play this idea knight to g5 immediately with the checkmate threat so you don't have even time uh, here to take out the bishop so it's really a weird position where um, a black is really really endangered your black would i think even uh, be forced here to weaken the pawn structure further with the move g6 and now we can take uh, knight to, uh, knight to uh, e5 bishop to e5 it's a uh, i think a bad game especially because of the fact that you have several dos score problems in front of the king so here after move e5 d takes e5 was played we have um, f takes e5 knight to d5 and again this follow-up knight to e4 we don't want to trade off of course because then it simplifies the game further we want now to include many pieces towards them uh, towards the king side again notice uh, we have again this element when we play e5 then the knight gets deflected from the h7 squared this is now an obvious target for white white points to attack uh, this weakness on h7 even creating of course some checkmate threats so here queen to d8 uh, stalker 15 realizes that it could have maybe some tactical problems and we have here knight from f to d2 uh, we have uh, knight to uh, b4 attacking the queen and lila c0 leaves simply the spawns uh, unprotected uh, you'll see now why lila c0 is doing that because after queen to c3 okay knight to uh, a2 uh, creating this attack against the queen we have queen to e3 but now after move knight to b4 notice that uh, stockfish uh, after leaving the square d5 doesn't have any more the protection of the f6 square and we have reached now the position of the thumbnail now uh, lila c0 pull off really a beautiful sharp tactic with the move knight to f6 and this is a stunner uh, which of course creates really some madness you cannot take of course g takes f6 then uh, e takes f6 going to happen uh, the queen is sneaking in here on dark horse will probably deliver checkmate even if you want to sacrifice the piece back it doesn't matter we'll just uh, take out with the bishop and the game is over so you cannot take the knight on f6 and the cool part about this game is that the knight will be there a little bit longer so this would be probably one of the most annoying knights that you see so after move knight to f6 we have king to h8 the king has to step back and now knight to e4 again the new knight is coming into the game and okay here stockfish takes another pawn uh queen to f2 stockfish grabs also this other bishop but still this knight on f6 is such an annoying piece uh it's such it's destroying really the whole king side although uh black is here a three versus one pawn majority uh still it's so hard to push uh, this pawns because meanwhile uh white is doing something white will maneuver many pieces towards uh the king side and will try maybe to attack the h7 as i said to deliver checkmate so we have queen to b6 uh what stockfish is hoping for is maybe that um, lila c0 moves somewhere with the rook and then uh stockfish would of course love to simplify the game by trading off the queens because the only way for white to win this game is of course by including the queen into the attack so that's why here king to h1 was played getting out of the potential range of the queen where no queen trades are possible so here in the continuation we have c5 kicking away um, uh, the rook we have queen to h4 so stock uh pardon me lila c0 didn't react and is threatening immediately checkmate on h7 so we have h6 and now rook to d3 and now 
you could do many many things for instance if you try here to compete on the default this is not good and um, here you see immediately why the rook connection is a very important stage because you can maybe compete on the default against this rook on d3 but you don't have a rook connection even if you uh, are defending the position like this you see rook to d8 could happen you're maybe getting the queen on a d8 but now look at this knight to g5 is going to happen you cannot take and now knight to f7 is a is a serious tactical threat so that's why you have to play something like queen to f8 but look at this now uh queen to e4 creating checkmate threat here on also attack the rook on a8 so that's the problem when you don't have a rook connection when you don't uh when you cannot of course take out uh, the rook with the um with this other rook so this rook is simply stuck in the corner of the board so this is simply not good so after rook to d3 you see we cannot compete on the default that's why bishop to b7 has to be played first uh now rook to d8 will be of course perfectly fine so here rook to uh, d7 so attacking now the bishop on um bishop in e7 we have bishop to e4 we have rook to e7 and now we have bishop to d3 rook to f3 so lila c0 is creating now another rook lift uh, again i'm pointing out there's nothing special you can really never take because the queen will come here in h6 rook to g3 was going to happen so you're getting checkmate so so we should not consider even anymore this tactic with uh, g takes f6 so this is simply not a possibility so after rook to f3 rook f we have rook from a to d8 we have knight to d7 even if you try something like rook from f to d8 maybe to escape from this potential fork it's not getting better because of this tactic again uh, rook to d3 you see rook to d3 and again queen to e4 again this uh, rook is cornered here and we are again creating this checkmate threat on um, on h7 so this is not a possibility so here after move rook to f3 that's why rook from a to d8 but now uh, lila c0 wins the exchange uh, with the move knight to d7 rook to d7 rook take d7 and this is now a completely completely winning end game here for lila c0 so bishop to g6 we have a uh, queen to e7 rook to g8 rook to b7 trying of course to kick away further the queen take out the pawns also uh, trying to get all of the pawns and then go of course into a favorable endgame so we have queen to c6 and now a beautiful move uh here by uh lila c0 which forces now uh the trades of queens which is in my opinion a good choice here a simplification is perfectly fine because uh maybe in if uh lila c0 would not have played this move then of course the bishop can be also still a dangerous piece so that's why trading off the queens and simplify the game is in my opinion a uh, perfect perfect idea here for white so after move e6 what you could do and this wasn't played in the game uh would be f takes e6 but this is not working because of this one a rook to f8 the problem is now you cannot take you get checkmated so uh this deflection against the rook is now the main tactical goal so after move e6 that's why queen to e6 queen takes e6 f takes e6 but now uh stock uh pardon me lila c0 takes out the pawn on b5 and uh is now simplifying the game look at the spawn weaknesses so all of these uh pawns are now clear targets of white so we have a c4 we have rook to e5 uh, bishop to f5 g4 attacking the bishop we have a bishop to b1 and now lila zero zero grabs the pawn on e6 we have rook to b8 rook to f2 we have rook to b3 king to h2 c3 b takes c3 rook to c3 and now stockfish includes both of these rooks into the attack especially this is a really great idea how to play with these rooks in an end game you should bring them of course on the seventh rank where most of the pawns uh, are and then you can create of course some damage in the continuation of the game so king to g6 we have rook takes a7 rook to c2 we have now some checks but of course uh, you cannot create perpetual checks we have rook to d4 king to c5 rook to d1 and now h4 uh, trying even to maybe build sort of a mating net by playing h5 and then maybe rook to a rook to g7 for instance if the king comes on g5 then it would be at least some kind of a checkmate idea here after move h4 we have rook to g1 we have uh, rook to g8 of course threatening here the move rook to g7 so we have king to f6 stock uh, escape but now lila c0 simply takes on g7 we have bishop to c2 now the the king is marching towards the center but now for bishop to b1 uh, the bishop gets pinned by the rook and now you have to trade at least this pieces of the board so we have uh, king to e5 rook to b2 rook to d1 stock uh stockfish lost also now the uh bishop on b1 we have a, a rook to d5 again a couple of checks but not the problem we have g5 again a check 
Again, a couple of checks, but not a problem. After H G five in this position, Stockfish fifteen resigned. So incredible, incredible game. As I said, Stockfish won also the reverse game. Uh, this is really a bad opening that you should try to avoid. But I uh, really wanted to cover um, this uh, perch defense more because recently we have started uh, this perch and modern defense on my YouTube chess channel. So I wanted to, of course, also see some other ideas that you can apply and uh, win games very easily, win, win games very effectively. So I think this is also a cool approach by Lila C0, especially this beautiful knight to f6 sacrifice was a stunning, stunning tactic. They surprised even Stockfish 15. So it was, in my opinion, really incredible game. So Stockfish lost its first game. Nothing special, of course. We'll see now how the tournament will go on so far. As I mentioned, the Lila C0 is in the lead, has half of the point more than Stockfish 15. So we'll see how this tournament will end. It will, I uh, I think, will, will be a beautiful, beautiful uh, chess event for, uh, for us to watch. So, okay, I hope that you enjoyed this game i really really enjoyed it a lot um, if you want to see more uh beautiful tactical game like this check out my comment to chess games play by computer series with some more games play by stockfish alpha zero lila zero dragon engine and many many more and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and chess is the best of course